You know what though? I'm gonna tell y'all a secret. I used to focus so much on results, I would get discouraged when I wasn't hitting what I thought I should be hitting. When I fell in love with the process itself, I started noticing results when I wasn't even expecting them. Explain that grip, man. It's a little bit different, real quick, bro. All right. So sometimes you typically see people go for a grip here. Some people do it with two fingers. I don't even know how they do that. But um, if you have problems with the flexion in your wrist, the wrist mobility, I tend to come here. I get my grip from right here. Arms across. This right here, this cross, is going to provide uh, kind of a bridge for that weight. And then we're going to add to it. Putting it right on your depth. Let's see where so you're the that. The weight is going to rest right on your depth. So now that weight is thinning. What you say it again? My goal was to have people happy when I do for my legs. Right. I've accomplished that. Right. Look, look, look. He said, what my you do? My goal is to people to say, what you do for your cat. Go ahead and zoom in on that, yo. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there, bro. You putting the work in. What we're going to focus on now is kind of shaping that leg. So when I'm getting this, when I'm getting the bulk and putting the meat on, now I want to start to focus on, you see that, the uh, separation. And the muscles, you want to get good definition. You start to hit it from different angles. You come up in one motion. Bring this here. Push up. Bring it back down. Go right into squats. <clears throat> Now, target the hamstring. 